you were aware that the girls were coming from Thailand, and you were aware that the girls didn't have a choice in, in coming, right? Now, she's been an NCIS informant since 2014. Yes. What about you? I've been in the Navy a long time, and there ain't a secret that I know that can be kept on the waterfront. I'm trafficking human beings from Thailand to have sex on your behalf. That did not raise any red flags to you? She said she's trying to fight, but she can't. How many minutes to he was, like, behind? I've never seen anything like this in my career before. In the summer of 2017, the U.S. Navy faced intense scrutiny for two ship collisions in the West Pacific that killed 17 sailors. But with the public eye turned toward Asia, a different kind of crisis was boiling over for the Navy in the Middle East. The Navy's Fifth Fleet is headquartered on the small island nation of Bahrain, just off the coast of Saudi Arabia in the Persian Gulf. It is the nerve center for Navy operations in the region. That summer, Investigators began to uncover a web of troubling allegations against sailors that started with prostitution, but ultimately grew into alleged cases of international sex trafficking and rape. The U.S. Navy's presence in Bahrain is mainly via a command known as U.S. Fifth Fleet. They're the main Navy presence in the Middle East. There's about 7,500 U.S. sailors and assorted personnel stationed there, and so it's understandably a busy command. The Navy's footprint on the small island is vital to U.S. military operations in the region. It's the coordinating hub for actions against ISIS in Iraq and Syria and lies just 121 miles from the coast of Iran. In the summer of 2017, the Naval Criminal Investigative Service uncovered an underbelly of criminal activity that would result in a series of courts martial with common themes, U.S. sailors, local hookers, money, and a mysterious Thai prostitute both a purveyor and protector of other prostitutes, known locally as a mama-san. She also had one more role, as a longtime NCIS informant. Operating a sex ring in plain sight and with Navy knowledge, she triggered a series of investigations when she walked into an NCIS office with a shocking allegation that she was part of a failed plot to traffic prostitutes into Bahrain and that her partner in the scheme was a U.S. sailor. Sailors and prostitutes had long coexisted on the island, but now the local sex trade and the sailors involved in it had become too big for the Navy brass to ignore. The informant and pimp known in Navy records as Lynn Ray West, a so-called mama-san, told NCIS she was working with a local sailor named Gunner's Mate Second Class Jihad Littlejohn. The case of Gunner's Mate Second Class Jihad Littlejohn was one of several that caught Big Navy's attention in Bahrain in the summer of 2017. Littlejohn was accused of conspiring with a pimp to import two women from Thailand into Bahrain to work as prostitutes. They would live with him and he would take a cut of their earnings. Ray West told NCIS that their plot fell apart when the Thai girls failed to materialize at his off-base apartment. Text threads Ray West gave NCIS later entered into court records purportedly show her arguing over money Littlejohn gave her to traffic the girls. In return, she told NCIS she handed over her passport to Littlejohn as collateral. The two fell out and each threatened to report the other to the authorities. Ray West knew who to call. She had been a confidential NCIS informant for years. She made her move first. Little John was later court-martialed over the allegations. But Navy officials say the case against him suffered from prosecutors' failure to get Ray West on the stand. The most severe charges were withdrawn before the trial or thrown out by the judge in court. By the end, Little John was only facing a charge of paying Ray West for sex. A military jury found him not guilty in 2019. After the trial, Little John's attorney said he was ready to argue the whole exchange was about a deal to start a tattoo business. But the attorney declined to address the fact that Ray West's passport was found in a safe in Little John's apartment in an NCIS raid. 
Still, Ray West's report to NCIS in 2017 ignited a widespread effort to crack down on similar crimes by sailors in Bahrain. It didn't take long for them to find what they were looking for. In September of 2017, a few weeks after Ray West reported Little John to NCIS, Chief Operations Specialist Jason W. Grant began communicating on the dating app Tinder with a woman who appeared to be a prostitute. In text, they discussed an arrangement similar to the alleged Little John scheme that Ray West reported to NCIS, that they would traffic prostitutes into Bahrain to live with Grant. He would seize their passports and take a cut of their nightly earnings. But in order to seal the deal, Grant would first need to meet with someone the woman called Boss to finalize the details for trafficking women in from Thailand. They set up a meeting at a local bar. You interested in making a little money? Yes. Basically, you know how the setup is, man. Um, you give them a place to stay. You know what I'm saying? Uh, they'll be pretty much, you know, work, working for you. Uh, you hold their passports. They usually only go home like once a year. That's like doing a long time. And shit, you, you know, you can fuck them, whatever. It's, it's great. Stay on WhatsApp. Don't take any other way because WhatsApp is secure. You know what I'm saying? You the only person that can get free pussy. Your homeboys can't get no free pussy. You know what I'm saying? Just, hey, just you. Um, they ain't gonna come back to you. You know what I'm saying? You handle all that right there. And I'll tell you when you really gonna make some money when a motherfucking ship pull in. Oh my goodness, dog. When a ship pull in, it, it, it's, it's all fuck that. With the possibility of money in front of him, Grant sought to take the deal further and traffic in even more women. What if I want to get more and more girls? Trying to maximize the bread. I feel you, dog. I feel you. You know what I'm saying? So she'll hit you up, let you know shit, what time tomorrow. All right, cool. All right, big dog. All right, I'm going to get it. The deal concluded, but what Grant didn't know was that both Boss and the woman he'd met on Tinder were actually undercover agents working for NCIS. They called him in for an interview the next morning. Do you have any idea why you're here this morning? No. Okay. Have, a, have you ever engaged the, your cellular phone um, with someone in regards to, to prostitution no. or, or, uh, or housing prostitutes at your home? No. You ever talk with someone in I have yeah. spoken. Okay. And go over your conversation. Pretty much what you talk about is moving people into the house. But paying rent. What they do, I don't know. What if I told you I was So I know you're not being completely honest with me, because I because I know exactly what you say, because I was on the other side of that phone. Now you're aware that the girls were coming from Thailand, correct? Yeah. Okay. You were aware that they've been working as as prostitutes. I didn't get into that as far as I mean I understand with you, but what they did or whatever I So when when were these girls supposed to be coming in? Today. Today. Okay. And how many of them? Three. Three. Okay. Three, and they're going to be living in your house. Yes. Sir. Correct. Okay. And they are going to be working as prostitutes. Correct. Yes. Sir. Yes. Okay. In our messages, I have specifically used the word trafficking. I am trafficking human beings from Thailand. I'm trafficking human beings from Thailand and they do not have a choice. I'm literally paying off a pimp and moving them here to have sex on your behalf.
that did not raise any red flags to you? Yes, it did. In the end, Grant was sentenced to four years for attempted sex trafficking and attempted labor trafficking. A civilian attorney representing Grant says they plan to appeal. But his case was far from the only one of its kind being investigated outside the gates of naval support activity Bahrain. And several of those cases featured the same person, Lynn Ray West, the Thai prostitute and mama-son known in sailor circles as Kaylina or Kay. But at NCIS, agents knew her by her confidential informant number, MEBJ1580. My name is Lynn, Lynn Ray West. Ms. Lynn Ray West. Ms. Ray West. Ms. Ray West. Ms. Lynn Ray West. I know it's Kaylina, sir. She's had various aliases. What we discovered was going on in Bahrain was that there was a, a confluence of cases coming out at the same time involving conspiracies, involving sexual crimes, in, involving human trafficking, prostitution. Uh, and at the center of all of this was one person, seemingly one person. And that was Miss Lynn Ray West. The story of Lynn Ray West is probably one of the craziest parts of this whole series of cases involving sailors in Bahrain. You described her a little bit, but who is she? Uh, she's a prostitute. She's a mama son. She was an NCIS source as well. And you knew you knew Miss Ray West had connections on base. Yes, sir. I've never seen anything like this in my career before. 